All right, so let's start with uh, installing Angular. And just before we actually install Angular framework and work on that, uh, we do need Node, uh, NPM. So we do want to go to nodejs.org, make sure we have the NPM installed and updated. And once that's done, we can switch back over to angular.io. Uh, there is a, a quick start guide that gives us kind of like a five minute quick start, as I say, but essentially it's the most simple app you can kind of start with them. And so this is what I'll do is um, you'll, you'll go through this actually yourself and it asks you to kind of add these files on here with the code that they give you. And that's simply just kind of uh, starting the application. Now there is a um, Angular built in uh, man package manager that you can use, but I'm using it as simple as possible here. So I'm not using the package manager. So if we switch over here to my uh, editor, I have only the files that they told me to add on here and I'll show you these. They asked us to create a, a folder called app and put in their main.ts. And this is where all the code is gonna go here soon. Um, they asked us to create an index.html file and they gave us the code for that. Um, Packs.json for all the packages. Uh, styles for just styling the index page. Uh, System.js.config is really just uh, how we start this um, module, at least the Angular uh, framework. And TS is for TypeScript and typings is for the definitions of the types. Um, so now once you have all of this there, uh, the next step is to um, install it. So let's go to it real quick. Okay, so here we are, let's clear this, make this a little larger. And so here's the files like you saw earlier. Uh, and all we need to do at this point is just be in the root directory where we have all these files and do npm install. And so this is gonna go through and install all these packages and hopefully you won't have any errors, but on the uh, Angular website there are there is information for any potential errors that may arise. Uh, this may take about a minute or so, maybe less. Once this, when this, is, once this is done, we can start our first application and just show off the components. All right, so we're back and it's fully installed. Uh, if we look here, there's a few files that have been added. So if we look at our directory here, we have now the node modules folder that has all the modules that we installed. Um, typings, which is part of the typings.js file that installed also its modules. And we are ready to go. At this point, we can start creating our component, our initial component.